Choosing the right resolution in Counter-Strike 2 is vital to becoming the best player possible. Today, we're going to dive into all the different aspect ratios, all the resolutions. I'm going to give you the good, the bad, the things that have helped me throughout my years inside of this game. I'm excited for you to learn. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. First off, we need to understand how to even change our resolution, our aspect ratio. All we're going to do is go over here into our settings menu. Now, once you are here, we are going to go into the video and there is a few very important things that we need to understand. First, make sure it's your main display that you're working with, right? You don't need to choose your other display. It's going to mess things up. I would recommend full screen. Now, in 2025, you can get away with full screen windowed, but for performance sake, for just keeping my game consistent, I like to just keep it inside of full screen mode, but it's not going to be the end of the world if you choose windowed, and it is going to allow you to tab in and out faster. You can see here, this is my resolution. This is the setup that I run. I'm going to touch on these things in a little bit. First, let's talk about brightness. This is going to be a little subjective because it's also going to matter what you're using outside of your game. Your window settings, your NVIDIA, your AMD settings are going to dictate a lot. 120% for me is going to look different from what it's going to look like on your end. Not to mention monitor settings as well for your physical display. It's going to change so much. Now, refresh rate, I'd recommend playing on the highest that you can. For me, this is a 360 hertz monitor, but I don't consistently get 360 frames uh, inside of my gameplay. So it's very laggy. It tears a lot. There's some delay when I'm not playing, when I have this on 360 hertz. So I personally choose not to play on that. But ultimately, there's people that disagree. They think that you should push higher. I'm a big believer. Play on what you can get and never look back with that. I play perfectly fine on 200, 240 hertz. It's helped me get all the way to where I am in Premiere right now. I think we're like at 31, almost 32 thousand which is pretty good pretty good if you ask me we're gonna push up to 35k so make sure you check out my live streams on twitch.tv slash kojimo cs now here we go let's talk about aspect ratio and resolution so aspect ratio you can't go wrong with any of these there is great resolutions in every single one of these now there's going to be some differences between these and i'm going to get into that but first i have to give you a message about how to get the best looking cs2 skins inside of this game Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Skins Monkey. They are one of the greatest and easiest to use CS2 trading sites out there. You can swap out the skins you do not like for brand new ones that are so much more fresh. Even skins that are trade lock can be secured by adding them to your backpack. The greatest thing about the site is that you can buy skins for so much cheaper with a 35% deposit bonus when you use my code, Kojo. Make sure to check out the freebie section where you can get a free skin just by completing tasks. On top of the bonuses, you also get a $5 bonus when clicking the link in the description. Let's go ahead and start off with the 4x3. This is what I plan. 4x3, 1280 by 960. Why do people play on 4x3? It is going to zoom your screen in. It's going to make the targets look a lot bigger, a lot closer, and it's going to help you focus. That's why I like it. It just feels really good as well. Uh, you know, those of you that have played on 4x3, you can kind of get the sense. Things move a lot faster, but you flow a lot better as well. The resolutions I'd recommend on this is going to be 1280 by 960, 1280 by 1024. That's going to be the highest quality res that you can make without going into the custom parts of your PC and, and making new resolutions. And then 1024 by 768. So these three, boom, 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 and boom. These three are the best resolutions on 4x3. There is also 1440 by 1080, which is very clean. It's more native-like. But again, you're going to have to make a custom res. I do have a video on my channel on how to do that. So go ahead and check that out and make sure you guys are playing in full screen and you're in video settings. You're going to have to tweak that. So go ahead and check that video out on my channel up above. I will link it now as far as four by three. That's how that goes. 16 by nine is what I would recommend most of you play on. This is going to be native for most of you. 1920 by 1080. If you have a higher quality monitor, this might be a higher number. Just play on native. If you're if you're getting counter strike for the first time, if you're starting out brand new, play on native and never look back again. Make sure you have your hertz where you want it to be most likely the highest, but if you are a nerd and like are tired of the, the tears and all this, play on whatever you can get. The beauty of native is it's going to make your game look beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Absolute cinema when you're playing the game. The problem is for me, sometimes there's just too much. So it's a good thing and a bad thing because with that too much, you're not going to miss out on certain angles. And when you know people say that you get four by three, it's when someone's on the side of your screen, but you don't see it on four by three because it's so zoomed in. And how does Metasport choose to adjust? Oh, oh my lord! What? That's four three. Four three yeah, yeah, four three. Absolutely.
on 16 by 9 that's not really going to happen to you you're going to see a lot i think it's just a little overwhelming it, it's harder for me to control my spray i think opping and i think pistols on native are so crisp so clean because also people peek you a lot slower it just looks a lot slower uh with how they're they're peeking and, and you know in that sense the only problem with that is i feel like i move slower on native all this is in our head by the way obviously it's not like you actually are faster or slower depending on the resolution but it does really tweak a lot of this so i find that it's it's a little too slow for me and i i don't it doesn't feel like counter-strike when i'm playing on native and that's purely just because of the 10,000 plus hours i have on 4x3 if you're brand new to the game don't overthink it and just play on this there is a solution for those of you that want to be a little quirky a little bit different you can play on the aspect ratio 16 by 10 like a lead each plays on this aspect ratio and it's going to give you the best of both worlds so the resolutions i'd recommend on this is 1680 by 1050 that's probably the most popular one on this but you could also play around with 1280 by 800 that's a little bit lower quality but it's going to be the best of both worlds in the fact that you're still going to have a wider resolution you're still going to see a lot but it's still going to stretch out the player models just a little bit it's genuinely the in between of 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 so a lot of players end up really liking it it can be pretty sick it can be pretty cool as far as advanced video settings you guys can check out the full settings video on my channel you'll learn so much good stuff not about just video but audio the game keyboard and mouse all these good things these are truly things that'll help you get up to high level high rating so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on that i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out